Okay, I'd like to talk with you briefly about setting up your still life. So we're going to be working with single light source. So I've got one of these utility uh, lamps on a stand here. Uh, if you have something like that lying around, uh, that's fine. You can direct it more easily. If you just have a, a lamp that can be uh, on illuminating one side of it and you can somehow not have light coming from both sides, even just a window that has natural light on one side of the room. What we want to get here is we want very clear light side, dark side, because we're going to be working with values moving from light to medium to dark. So we want to be, have that to be as clear as possible. If we have light coming from all different angles, it gets kind of confusing. So I've chosen, I've taken out a few of the objects too to get something simpler. What you want to look for is objects overlapping. So you can, one helps you to gauge the proportion of each object because it's in front of another one, gives you a reference. It also helps you move through the space too. So also this is important. I want you guys to, to have uh, the front edge of a table visible in your, or uh, available to you. So these, uh, this paper needs to go over the front here because we're gonna play around with certain issues of here, moving across this space, back from lemon, apple, pitcher, and back wall. So this helps us spatially too to overlap objects. Um, also, um, oh yes, yeah, so if you have a taller object, shorter, moving like that is, is kind of interesting. Um, you don't want too many of them sitting out on their own. Although, let's see how that is. That's not too bad. Um, but so if we overlap these, these all four of those objects are overlapped. And then we've got one sitting out here by itself. That's okay. So this is the first part of, of the drawing, just arranging this. So play around with some different combinations. See what you like best. And if you want my opinion, you can send me a shot. Um, and again, you can play around with the objects you're using. And you don't have to go out and buy a bunch of things. You can find appropriate things around your house. But that'll get you started on setting it up.